Gaming Bowl presents 15 Best New Features in World of Warcraft Legion World of Warcraft's newest expansion Legion is upon us, and it comes chock full of new features and content. The expansion should be live fairly soon, but what can you expect leading up to the release? What are some of the newest additions to the game that warrant a revisit? If you're a new player, then is this the expansion that finally gets you into WoW? We don't know about that last question, but there's still plenty of cool new features to look forward to with Legion. Increased Level Cap 110 is the new magic number for players to strive for in Legion, with the level cap being increased by 10 levels this time around. For those worried about having to grind through old content to get any of their characters up to speed, Legion will ship with a free one-time boost for level 100. This is especially useful for new players who want to get into the new content immediately. Demon Hunter Class The Demon Hunter is the new class this time around, and they have quite the tragic backstory. They're being freed from the Vault of Wardens to fight the Burning Legion though, and they're quite the motley class. Demon Hunters will start at level 98 and can specialize in either tanking or DPS. Unfortunately, if you want to create a Demon Hunter, you'll only be allowed one and require a level 70 character off the bat. If you don't have space, then don't worry, an extra character slot is also coming with Legion. The Broken Isles What's a new expansion without new areas to explore? The Broken Isles are an entire new continent to explore in Legion. It's comprised of a number of zones from Azuna and High Mountain to Stormheim and Suramar. Mardun has also been added and will be available for Demon Hunters in the initial stages of their journey. New Worlds also means new world bosses, which means more epic battles, which means more epic loot. Artifact Weapons Artifact weapons will be the new endgame of sorts for players to exploit once hitting the level cap. Along with the ability to upgrade them, artifact weapons can be transmogrified into various forms to allow for cosmetic freedom. Don't worry about variety either. There will be 36 different artifact weapons for each specialization, and there will be more opportunities to change the look of your weapon down the line. 10 New Dungeons You want new things to do? Legion is looking to keep your party fairly busy with 10 new 5-man dungeons. You'll head to the Vault of Wardens, where the Demon Hunters are imprisoned, the Hellmouth Cliffs, the Arkway, Black Rook Hold, the Halls of Valor, and other such instances for dangerous adventure and crazy awesome times. The new dungeons become even more enticing when you consider the new Mythic Plus difficulty. Mythic Plus After the Emerald Nightmare Raid arrives, dungeons will receive the new Mythic Plus difficulty. This is a new scalable difficulty that works somewhat like Diablo 3's Greater Rifts. You use a keystone to access Mythic Plus, and if you complete a run within the time allotted, an opportunity to upgrade the keystone is offered. As you use higher levels of keystones, enemies will become more difficult, and keystones from level 3 onwards will have different modifiers, like more trash mobs, higher boss health, and even volcanic eruptions to further spice things up. Zurios A carryover from Destiny, Zurios is a vendor in Legion that carries a random item every day for a new currency, that being Curious Coins. Such items are further inspired by Destiny and include Crota's Shield, Mode of Light, Galler's Horn, and so on. New Raids World of Warcraft Legion will be bringing new raids to the forefront with Emerald Nightmare, Nighthold, and Suramar Palace. The Emerald Nightmare releases three weeks after release, followed by a Stormheim raid, then Nighthold, and finally rounding it out with Suramar Palace. Thus far, we know that Emerald Nightmare will feature seven bosses and sees your group venturing into the Nightmare's heart in pursuit of Scenarius. PvP Honor System In line with WoW's PvP-only gear, there will be a new PvP Honor System to offer abilities and talents that can only be used in PvP. As you gain levels, more abilities will be unlocked, thus allowing you to create a truly PvP-centric build. In many ways, this will also help Blizzard to balance things better and not worry about changing PvE abilities for the sake of PvP. Are you listening, Bungie? Prestige in PvP Gain enough honor levels in PvP, and you'll unlock more than just new abilities. You can also prestige, thus resetting the abilities learned and starting again. There's more than a few benefits to this, like earning interesting new cosmetics to show off your PvP prowess. It's little more than bragging rights, but hey, it offers a reward for players to strive for when PvE has been exhausted. New PvP Rules PvP will also be operating a little differently this time around. Unless you have an artifact weapon, you won't receive any bonuses from your gear, and all stats will be normalized as per your specialization. Item levels still play a part, though they won't play an enormous factor. Think 0.1% per point after item level 800 in the overall battles. For better or worse, it'll be down to skill for PvPers. Order Halls Much like the class order areas of old, Order Halls will allow players to take on class-specific missions, earn different bonuses, and also work to recruit followers to send on missions to fight the Burning Legion. Some followers will even discover new areas for you to subsequently explore, acting more like heroes than the garrison's blind sheep. It will also be the main place to further augment and upgrade your artifact weapon. Class Changes 
As with each major expansion, WoW's classes will be seeing a few changes with Legion as well. Hardcore players haven't exactly been a fan of past patches, and while there's no way to really know how everything will work until launch day, you'd at least look forward to some kind of buff when Legion hits. That's looking at it positively, of course. Transmogrify 2.0 Thankfully, one area that's received nothing but buffs is the transmogrification system. Along with new slots for shirts, weapon illusions, and tabards, appearances will now be available across your account rather than per character. The new wardrobe menu lets you see your entire collection of appearances at once and will even tell you where to find certain items. The Burning Legion and Illidan's Return More than anything else, World of Warcraft Legion will signal the return of one of the most epic villains in all the lore, Illidan Stormrage. Say what you will about Blizzard recycling the Burning Legion as enemies, but there's no denying the appeal behind the quest as you team up with the Demon Hunters and try and halt the threat one last time. Like this video? Why not give us a like and subscribe? We try and upload amazing videos almost every single day. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.